Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rosina. I am the creator of Live Thrive Dye Company and now Bad Cheap Brew with my fiance. Um, today we're going to do a little day in the life. We got orders to fulfill and ship out. Um, we're bleaching more crew next tonight. give you a tour of the current progress of the coffee truck and talk about what is going on and stuff so yeah stay tuned All right, so I just finished up packing the first wave of orders that are going out. Um, these people have been waiting for over a month to get their orders, and I really appreciate you guys for waiting so patiently. Um, <clears throat> obviously, with COVID and everything, everything's getting delayed, so my printer lady was working alone, and normally, if she was in full operation, she would have multiple people working with her, and she would have her the order to me um, when I had placed them within two weeks but because she already had a big order ahead of me um, it did take a little bit of a wait to get these in so again I apologize and thank you guys for being so understanding um, but yeah so basically I have poly mailers that I put them in and I ship them out with and my stickers that I put on there and then because we don't have internet at the storage garage yet um, I have to go home and weigh them and then I go through PayPal to do the shipping so it saves me from having to go to a clerk at the post office and pay extra because you definitely save money by going through PayPal or one of those like shipping websites. So next I'm going to show you guys a tour of the coffee truck so let's get going. not painted so I apologize we're not getting her painted till after the health inspection so we have a little bit of time but um, we still have work to do on the outside of the truck before we send her off to get painted and get the logo on her so let's get a tour of the current inside messy in here right now but I'm gonna try to get some lighting in. I'm still learning how to open all the windows and doors and such because Ryan usually does it for me. So um so yeah so welcome to the inside of Batchy Brew guys. Again I apologize for all the mess. Um, I'm just gonna give you a little tour of like what's what and yeah so let's start over here. So this is our coffee brewing station. We have the coffee grinder here. So we'll be using this for a cold brew and our drip coffee and to make our pour over decaf coffee grinds. And then here we just have a single brewer 
Um, we have to get a new brew basket. One of our roasters had recommended that we get this specialty gourmet coffee basket. So we're waiting for that to come in from Webstaurant. But we chose the single brewer just because we didn't realize how much power all this equipment uses because originally we had a bought a double brewer and she uses a lot of power so we just have her at home for future purposes but um yeah we chose a single brewer because the wattage is definitely lower and we made sure to get a hot water spout for tea and such so um so yeah this is the coffee brewing station and then over here we have the most important part in my opinion um this is the espresso making station so um again i apologize for the mess but basically the station will start here uh the knock box will be cut into the countertop and we'll have a garbage going under here uh, to catch all the grounds and also so we could dump all of our um, coffee grounds in there. We have my baby. This is the Malcona K30 Vario Air. I'm super excited to use her. Um, I haven't even used her yet. So it's definitely time to get working on her soon. So we're just waiting for electrical to be done. But we need the plumbing to be finished before we finish up the electrical. So just waiting on that. I'm gonna have to bring my Breville grinder from home to do decaf espresso beans. So I just left a little space for her. And then we have our tamping mat here. Some of these drawers are accessible, some are just a vanity. Um, I decided to go with the drawers just because I feel like it looks much cleaner than just having everything out, like the plumbing and electrical out in the open. We have room for storage if we need it, so obviously all the plumbing and electrical will run under here. And then up here we'll store stuff that we need as well. So over here, this is our espresso machine. She is a La Spaziale S2. She's a two group head. Um, got our steam wands and hot water spout. And she is obviously taken apart right now because again, we're still working on the plumbing for her and the electrical. Really excited to use her. She is going to be the workhorse of the truck. So we have that. And then over here, so obviously this space is not done, but this is kind of where I'll be finishing off the drinks. I'll have syrups here, some syrups here. I got a speed rail that's at home, but I'm not going to install it until we do the backsplash, but I got a speed reel to put our, all, all of our excess syrups on there. And then here, move all the stuff, and then we're going to cut the ice bin into here, and she will go into the countertop, so you don't have to, you, won't, you only see the lid of her. So yeah, so the ice bin will go here eventually. Um, and then yeah, so you can see here, all of our electrical is still being finished up. Here we have, this is our main fridge. We just got her. Um, I've had my eye on this fridge for a couple of months actually since we started. We went to a warehouse um, down in Waterbury, Connecticut and this fridge was just kind of the perfect size. Looks very clean and the plus side to why we got this fridge especially is because she has a lock so when we're traveling and we have like milk and such and whatever in here we can lock her we don't have to worry about the door flying open when we're transporting stuff so really happy um we had to switch the door because the handle was on this side and she opened the wrong way so ryan and his buddy managed to flip the door handle so she um opens the right way so yeah super clean Super happy with our decision with that. Over here, um, we have our cleaning station. So per health department requirements, we have to have a three compartment sink, even though we're not dealing with food, but wash, rinse, sanitize. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, so plumbing is getting finished up on here. And then next to her, we have a hand-washing sink and we had to order a new faucet because one of the um, things was stripped. 
so we're waiting for her to come in and then we still have to get a drying rack of some sort because um, clearly we don't have a dishwasher on here so once we wash and sanitize we're gonna put the stuff up there to air dry so this is the cleaning station over here and then here we have our serving window so um, I'm not really sure what's going on with COVID right now and um, like the requirements for a food truck because these doors slide open and close which is really really nice um, but I don't know if we're gonna have to get like a plastic screen for like the vapor like coughing and seizing guard purposes so um, we're definitely gonna have to discuss with the health department about that but I had forgot to mention that we already had our pre-inspection with the health inspector and I wasn't here but Brian was and basically he said everything was looking really good pretty much when we have a real health inspection we're gonna have to bring the truck over to Torrington Area Health and we're gonna have to set up like we're operational pretty much um, and I'm gonna have to literally show the health inspector everything as far as like how I open how long it takes us to open, how I make the drinks, how we wash, rinse, and sanitize everything, how we keep everything clean, and yeah, so all that basic boring stuff I have to show to the health inspector just so he can make sure that we're doing everything right and so he can crit critique us on what we have to do. Obviously we want to make sure it's a clean and happy ex experience for everyone, so um, I'm pretty nervous about it, but obviously it has to happen or else we don't get our food permit, so. Yeah, so moving on to the next station. Here, again, she's obviously not set up, but this is where um, the cups will be lined up here in the lids, and then we'll have a rack that will hold our coffee air pots from, so we'll brew the coffee and then we'll put it right here. And the plan is Ryan will be doing the register and the coffees to take a load off of me. And then I will be mainly focusing on like the espresso and like craft drinks. So, so yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions of like our build or anything, feel free to reach out to me. I'm pretty open and transparent about how we do things or just my life in general, I'm pretty transparent about. So I love following other coffee trucks and seeing how the other coffee truck builds are. So um, yeah, I'm super excited finally finish up Betsy. The truck is pretty much 90% done and we can finally start making drinks and whatnot. We are finalizing our decisions of who we're using for our roasters because we wanted to focus on supporting local and small businesses so we're going to be using local roasters so I'll definitely be announcing that soon but um, we're just finishing up something with one of the roasters for the cold brew so I can't announce it just yet but um yeah that's that guys I just want to take note of this historical and memorable moment that we have to wear face masks when we go into a public setting had to make a pit stop at our fave spot in town <laughs> These two just woke up from a nap. <laughs> What's Auntie got you? Hola. Wow. I'm gonna eat it. Mmm, cracker. Oh yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, take it. Go ahead. So this is Junior, and that's Layla. My twins are 17 months now. Little firecrackers. Yeah, you are. 
<laughs> so when they go down for their nap, that's when I try to go out and run errands. And usually my sister or Ryan stays home with them while they nap so I can go out and have a life and do things. So it's really nice. Um, I think that's just one of my main tips and tricks with having children with someone is that <clears throat> if possible, you really need to coordinate a schedule and how you work things out because I would be stuck home with them all the time mm. if there was no communication or coordination with my significant other. So, right? Mm, kiss. Mwah, thank you. So yeah, everything I do is for these guys. They are just, uh, I love them. I'm so blessed with my twins. Mwah. All right, we're gonna end the vlog here. Say bye. Say bye. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>